let's see if I can capture this. I've, I'm flooding this uh, perspective garden uh, at the moment and uh, you know the pig keeps rooting which is good I want that but you see I have to pull that sod now downhill and then it'll go the whole way out through there and as soon as it makes it to the end I'll shut it off probably because it leaks which is good it'll seal eventually the wind is there you can see it's seriously leaking right there I, you might be able to see that and there is one of the terraces below that I'm gradually developing so I'll work on this a little bit and then film it again and, and maybe you can understand uh, I say pulling these saws down is easy, so easy because it, they've been loosened up by the pigs and so satisfying here we have this area from a slightly different perspective. Sorry about the wind. You, if you look close, you can see the current because I've muddied the water moving the sods. And there's the principal pig, Darkie, I call her. She's usually here with her piglets. They're down in the barn sleeping, but also notice the two hens that accompany her and usually the piglets. It's usually a team of six two hens, three piglets, and a pig, and a sow. Now I haven't cleared it the whole way. Uh, I will. It takes a little time to go out through there. Uh, and then while I was at it, I lengthened the uh, those two proposed terraces. One there, one there, actually three down, down there as well. goats are ready to come down whenever. We've kind of switched positions, but I, I stopped here to show you here is where I need to pull more sods out uh, because the water's working this way, but then in no time it'll go all the way to that fence. There, you can see the water arriving at the fence line. It comes pretty quick here where the, uh, the, pig, uh, the pig hasn't put sods in the way. Now it'll stop at that where the, where the grass starts. Well, it'll seem to stop. You won't see it. But it would go out as far as my dog if I uh, encouraged it to do so. That's all on a perfect contour. There you can see it's beginning to go under the fence. Now, since I've reached this, this is kind of my daily routine. I'm going to go back now and shut it off because I, I don't necessarily want this to get muddy. I just want to use the opportunity of the rooted ground and the softened ground to form the terraces. So I'm going to go out there and I'll show you how easy it is to shut it off. I'm probably going to have some wind on the camera. Sorry about that. But anyway, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here at the shutoff now. This is where the aqueducts start. And I'll see if I can shut it off with one hand. You see it's over this brimming right there. You can see it's brimming back there. So to shut it off all I have to do is pull this rock out. There we go. And that was easy enough. And that will shut it off because the water's now going to go down there. Something else. I decided since I've got so much flow and such a high head of water but I don't really have time to build the, the huge water wheels. I guess I'll go ahead and build a, uh, a high-speed sort of a Pelton wheel. That, that should make a man named John Solnier very happy to know I'm going to do that because he loves the idea of high speed. So that's, that's to be continued. Um, now, yeah, here, here you can see the water now is coming by, by what's floating on it. I think you can see that. Well, here, I'll, I'll, I'll muddy it. The water now is flowing to the left. I'm done flooding, no, well, irrigating that garden, and now I'm draining it. All right, bye for now.